I'm excited to introduce our vision for the Julian Hill Cricket Centre. We're building a world-class cricket facility for the school and the community, which will complement our outdoor cricket facilities, arguably the best school grounds in the country. This wonderful project will not only transform our cricket provision, but also have a major impact on our future bursary offering and provide great enhancements for hockey at Merchant Taylors. The space will be really special. Uh, we have five indoor cricket lanes dedicated to um, the surfaces that the boys will play on outside. The three lanes beside the hockey pitches will be fast bowling lanes uh, where the ball will be a bit bouncier and it will actually um, zip through a bit and challenge our batters. And the outside two lanes will be uh, nets that will take a bit more spin. They won't bounce as much so we feel like it will be a good challenge of bat and ball um, and a unique opportunity for the boys to train and learn in, in different facilities. We'll also be purchasing a Truman bowling machine which presents a visual hologram to the batter and allows them to decide whether to come forward or go back and then to attack or defend, um, which I feel will, will prepare our batters better than, than any schoolboy cricketer in the area. I think the quality of coaching at Merchant Taylors is brilliant because um, in the first team we get three or four coaches with you at every training session. We get two or three Middlesex county cricketers that come and coach us every week. And apart from that, every now and again we get an international cricket team. So we had Australia and England come during the World Cup and then they'll give you some coaching practice there as well. And throughout the season we have a lot of external coaches as well, so you couldn't ask for more. So in the new centre we have a video analysis system and that means that you're going to get filmed while you're bowling and while you're batting and you'll be able to review that throughout the training session and it'll give you a great sense of what you need to improve on throughout the season. A feature of Merchant Taylor's School is identifying and nurturing potential. Whether that's in the classroom, playing a musical instrument or on the sports pitches, the Julian Hill Cricket Centre will allow every cricket enthusiast to train indoors not just elite players already marked out for the first 11. I'm really excited about this new cricket centre because um, we only have one session a week um, this time and I hope that I can improve my skills by playing more so I can get better and get into the A-team. Our first principle in building the Julian Hill Cricket Centre is that Merchant Taylor's cricketers will have all the access they need. Our second principle is that this should be a cricket centre for the entire community. With five lanes available during the week and at the weekends, we will make the centre available for external users to train in. Whether it is a local club team, the Old Merchant Taylors Cricket Club, Middlesex County Cricket Club or visiting international sides. So the indoor training centre will be great for us as sunrisers to use. At the moment we're training over at Finchley and uh, sometimes up in Chelmsford and sometimes over in Cambridge. So it would be great to, to be able to use the facilities here more often and hopefully have the school as a base with the great uh, facilities that they have. When I returned to Middlesex in the position as uh, Managing Director of Cricket back in 2009, uh, Middlesex youth sides were already playing here on Sunday afternoons and having spent some time up here watching them play, uh, speaking to Richard Ayle and the groundsmen, uh, seeing the magnificent facilities that are available, uh, it encouraged me to start bringing our professional staff here and we've been coming here regularly ever since. We play first class matches on the field behind me uh, and had a very good record here. The pitches that they produce have been outstanding. Uh, and again, the, 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 the grass facilities and the marquee uh, that we use in March uh, are outstanding too and give the team excellent preparation for the season. The facility that uh, is going to be built here is going to be right up there with the, with the best in the country. Um, obviously we've been based at Lords for a long time and that's obviously a big part of Middlesex history but as a playing group to have a home away from Lords with all the facilities you need, have that indoor school, have all the um, analysis uh, facilities we need to, to perform at the highest level is going to be um, a great opportunity for us all and um, something all the players are really excited to, to get involved with. Yeah we absolutely love coming to Merchant Taylors um, as a squad. Uh, it's always been a, a special place. Um, I remember as a, an under 10 um, coming in and playing one of the smaller pitches um, over on the far side and to have sort of played up, up through the ranks and to play some first team games here um, has been really special.
Uh, so the cricket centre will be uh, really beneficial for our hockey players. Um, it's going to be situated adjacent to the hockey pitch, the waterways pitch we're still on at the moment, where the OMT club play and the school play a lot of their fixtures. And the balcony that's going to run alongside the pitch is going to be covered, so a nice shelter during the winter months for our, for our parents and spectators. Um, so yeah, really good place to watch the game, also maybe some video analysis from up there as well. There's going to be changing rooms um, that lead out onto hockey pitch, obviously a lot closer to the pitch, and again provide us with space to do some tactics and analysis in there at before and after matches. Your generosity can help us build the finest school cricket facility in the country, with benefits to the whole community, other school sports, while also having a transformational effect on our bursary provision. Lettings income from the centre will be made available for bursaries, this could provide as much as a bursary in each year of the school. To set up an endowment fund to do the same would require in the region of £5.25 million. Together, we can build this world-class cricket centre and open the doors to the centre to those who otherwise would not be able to join the school. Every supporter of this project will be recognised in the building. For major donors, there are opportunities to name parts of the building for you, a family member, or perhaps a friend or a former teacher. Julian Hill's gift of £1 million has made this project possible and others have also made very generous pledges. I now ask for the support of the whole community to help us make it a reality. I hope that you will get behind this campaign and help in any way that you can. Thank you in advance for your help.